Uh, conservatives think by banning immigrants, companies will pay more to workers, consumers pay a little more, and all is well. Why doesn't that work out? Because it's not about paying more to workers. It's about productivity. It's about increasing productivity. If you can hire somebody who's better than your existing workers, therefore is more productive, therefore is more efficient, then everybody is better off. The company makes more profit, invests in future products more. Now you compound this. Now the, the, the little bit in a given particular moment is not a big deal. But when you compound it over 10, 20, 30, 40 years, it is the difference between living in Mexico and living in the United States. It is the difference between being the richest country in the world and being a, you know, a second-rate country when it comes to wealth. Maybe not Mexico, maybe some other country that's a little better than Mexico, richer than Mexico, but not the United States. And what, by what right do you ban immigrants? And by what rights? Conservatives are supposed to be concerned with the Declaration of Independence, with the idea of individual rights, and maybe even with the Constitution. By what right do you ban immigrants? To protect whom? Why? Why should I pay a little bit more? Why? I don't want to pay a little bit more. But you are forcing me. You're using coercion on me. Why should I employ second-class employees? Why shouldn't I get the best at the best price? And by the way, there's no evidence, zero evidence, economic evidence that workers, that immigrants, lower wages. They don't. Look at the literature, the economic literature, not the conservative bullshit literature, the economics literature. And there is no economic proof that Immigrants lower wages, quite the contrary, over time, because they raise productivity, they raise wages. And what about the immigrant that might come in and get a job, but then leave and start a company and land up employing thousands of people? What about the immigrants that become the CEOs? Right now, the CEO of Microsoft, the CEO of Google, the CEO of, you know, a significant number of technology companies in the United States are run by immigrants. Immigrants that would not be allowed in to the United States to take that first job if conservatives had their way. How do you measure the damage? The damage isn't, oh, workers make a little bit more and, 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 and consumers get a little bit less. No, the damage is workers make less, American workers make less, consumers pay more, jobs are destroyed, Productivity is mitigated, and the United States does not grow and does not succeed and does not innovate. If you look at the innovations in this country and who makes them, many of them are immigrants. The engineers, the scientists who do it are immigrants. If you ban them, I mean, there's no law. Elon Musk, Punda Pichai, who's, uh, Sunda Pichai, who's the CEO of, 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 of uh, Microsoft, and he came up the ranks and he innovated and created and built and employed. I mean, it is such a shallow, again, zero-sum world. The idea that an immigrant reduces the wages of locals. Not true by any economic standard. Anymore, the trade reduces the income of Americans. Ann Coulter is worse than dumb. She's evil because she knows better. She makes it up. She is so wrong, you don't know where to begin with her. I'll debate Ann Coulter on immigration any day, even though she wrote a book on it, a book filled with half-truths, filled with economic ignorance. Ann Coulter, like most conservatives, are ignorant of economics. They have no knowledge of economics. I can't find people who have those kind of ideas attractive. That would be like telling me AOC is attractive. You, you can't separate attractiveness from what's inside their head. So conservatives are wrong, not just a little bit, they're thoroughly, systematically, 
and purposefully, because their agenda is not economic. Their agenda is to keep out people who are different than us. Their agenda is cultural. Because they actually know economics better than that. And just read economics in one lesson. Please, all of you out there, read economics in one lesson. Gain just a little bit of economic knowledge before you pontificate on economic issues. This is important. This is the future of this country. Without immigrants, the amount of innovation, the amount of progress, the amount of success, you want to turn America into a has-been? Then stop immigration into this country. And, and by the way, as I said, I'm an immigrant. So you would have never got this magnificent show and monologue if you'd banned me from getting my H-1B. I would be somewhere else doing it, in a different language probably. I mean, it's insanity to build walls, to close borders. Even the legally legal distinction is insanity. Anybody who can get a job in the United States should be a legal immigrant. And I don't care what the job is. We need people to pick apples. Otherwise, guess what happens to the apples? They rot. The farmers go bankrupt. Good American farmers go bankrupt. And then they start growing apples in Mexico, and we import them. I mean, not a tragedy, but the tragedy is the farmer who could have employed immigrants or seasonal workers, but your immigration policies made it impossible for him. So he goes out of business, and he is destroyed. To do, for the sake of what? Having fewer people who don't look like you in the country. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, Please take this opportunity, go to yourunbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...